Now this could be risky, as today we check in with Kevin X, a live 2D artist who had been giving us updates on this, and last night finally announcing this big announcement. Marin is now available for download on my new Patreon. You can stream and make content with her any way you like, as yes, this is a character from the very popular Dress Up Darling series, an intellectual property not held by this artist. And in viewing their Patreon, we don't immediately see a way to download this model for free, instead needing some type of subscription to access it, or at least other versions with more expressions. Which brings us now to The Art Gun, who is also a 2D and 3D artist and creator of numerous VTuber models, who later would post, just a reminder, characters that are copyrighted are not something you should risk streaming with or using as your visual representation. Adding, I'm not a lawyer, but I highly doubt it would fall under fair use, and it would suck to get all your earnings taken away from any success using said character. With VTuber Versus also replying, I've been seeing more very famous characters used as models as of late, and it blows my mind that people don't think about any of this, especially if their channel starts to see growth. Later on, Kevin X would post, thank you for joining, enjoy the models. Please note that I do not sell models for profits. Thank you for your donations to support me doing my hobby and making fan arts. Please be aware of Twitch Terms of Service. Use it for your your own entertainment only and create content at your own risk. This bringing into question if this is in the traditional spirit of VTubing where you would normally use your own character as a means of expression and also if this could potentially now lead to many companies paying attention to VTubers and potentially even also targeting them. As yes, there are examples of other current VTubers using other intellectual properties. <gasps> Another gateway? Hey, Ghostosaurus. Well, good to see you, and thanks for popping by. I appreciate it as always. Yep, someone's doped out of his gourd, duh. Peek a 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 peek a
received the total height here for this particular VTuber, confirming that she is the tallest of all the Hololive members, except for, of course, Sana, without her limiter on. As she also let us know, a good majority of her time is done swinging hammers, as once again, this is a cool blacksmith VTuber, and certainly not a penguin, and also proving to be quite the opposite of Ollie, saying she dislikes first-person shooter games, leading to sad zombie noises. But perhaps worst of all, she is absolutely obsessed with League of Legends, and we mean every flavor of it. As yes, right there at the beginning of her bio, it now reads a League addict. Kayla would also describe her fellow gen mates, saying that Vestia is mysterious, short, cute and clumsy, a talented artist, a sussy baka, and also her younger sis. Leading us now to the final member of this new gen, that being Kobo Kanaru, a rain shaman that Kayla describes as kawaii, as well as being a talented singer and chatty. A very thorough and complete analysis, as further provided here by Lily is Asleep, with Kobo congratulating Kayla on her debut, saying, Mommy Penguin, what a bonker. Don't forget to step on me after this. With Kayla responding, first, I'm not a mommy, second, I'm not a penguin, which fan artists such as Akashi Bag are absolutely ignoring at this time, giving us a new roster mate for the hollow burbs, as also Keen Biscuit had to stop themselves from calling this VTuber a penguin. Further along with Hall Live, we have Mori Calliope of Hall Live English, who last night celebrated hitting 2 million subscribers on YouTube, saying, I just want to keep singing for you for as long as I can, and receiving congratulations from Cover Corporation CEO Yago, fellow gin mates Ina and Kiara, as well as from her daughter, Irani EO15, and her sister, Heikos Bells. And not only was Ollie here giving up the big dubs, but two of the members of the brand new Uproar group were also on hand giving her her congrats. As V Shoujo's Iron Mouse would say, congratulations, queen. I am so proud of you. You are so talented and such a wonderful soul. Let's go road to three million. With Callie responding, Mousy, you are such an inspiration to me. Thank you so much for this. Let's both keep running towards our dreams together. As Callie would take time to respond not only to her character illustrator, but also collaborators and fan artists like Claro, Belushi Heime, Ranako, and Pokey. A major milestone for Hall Live to be sure, and here we have more Hall Live with Hall Live Japan's Tsunamaki Watome. The sheep tuber who had just yesterday revealed her brand new outfit and had plenty of guesses as to how it would look, such as this piece from Oshiruko, with this guess being a little bit more revealing than the final form. This talent would also take to Reddit, asking, you are afraid of me, aren't you? And giving us an absolutely terrifying roar, showing off her alternative dinosaur pajamas, which has quite a history already with Hall Live, and we don't mean just with Hall Live Japan, but also Hall Live English as well. And speaking of dinosaur pajamas, let's now turn over to Vaughn's Project's Pikimi Amano, who earlier was nervous as she has had yet another new look. That's right, it's Isekai Pikimi, captured here by Itori, who has been covering a number of debuts, and seen here showing off Pikimi's many, many different expressions. As Pikimi would later go on to say, thank you so much for watching my Isekai Pikimi reveal. And this new look received plenty of reactions, including from Nijisanji English's Pomu Rainpuff, saying she wanted to take this Pikimi home. Bay saying, so cute. Ollie saying, so adorable. And also receiving congrats from Shu Yamino, Zen Gunawan, and Akamila Menace. With her new character illustrator saying, I helped give birth. And we've got some public commemorative merchandise. Yes, that's right. We have new Isekai Pikimi merch, including an acrylic panel, stand, badges, and postcard. As on the bottom left, you may see a surprise, that likely being a sneak peek of this, Isekai Pikimi's other outfit, soon to premiere on her Twitch channel. And arguably, Pikimi's number one cheerleader, Kason, was on hand, saying, my kettle can't be this cute. That being Kason on air, who, yes, at this time, does have a Vampire Survivors mod of herself. And while she has plans to soon stream on Twitch, she's already received numerous donations and subs on the channel, leading to this odd exchange to her tax accountant, asking, what is this unidentified stream of money from overseas? With Kason trying to explain with my fans subscribing to me and tipping me on the Twitch account that I haven't actually gotten around to using yet, as the tax accountant would describe this as, ah, a so-called, quote, good job being a live fee. Understood. And who is more than alive is to win the VTuber Goober, a bat VTuber who likes to make art, animation, and models, and now has this brand new 3D 
model, that coming from Tenzo, saying amazing design and I had a lot of fun on making this model. This is not just by me, but 2Win herself. Her input makes the model way better. Congrats on the 3D debut. With 2Win replying, thank you so much for working with me. I couldn't be happier with the model and you really made it perfect. So perfect, in fact, that Bahamut shared this, making many of us wonder if we could tell the difference between the 2D and brand new 3D model. With 2Win later giving us this not at all intimidating view, saying thanks for coming to witness my 3D debut stream. Let's hang out some more next time. And now for more VTuber news, we turn to our co-host, Lady. It is a birthday marathon, starting off with Hanako, Dragon VTuber, who celebrated their birthday March 25th, along with this clown VTuber, Rokuko, who tweeted out, Ohio Rokuko, I'm gonna do the best chaos today I can today, this time with my birthday cake spice. Following up by saying, today has been absolutely wonderful. I'm truly so grateful for all of you. Honestly, the best gift of the past year was meeting so many amazing people. Thank you so much. This also followed by Poppy the Lich King, who tweeted out for their birthday, receiving this scuffed little cake to celebrate by Strawberry Bunny VTuber Chai. Basilisk VTuber Shine announces that they will be participating in this year's Gamer Outreach Charity, tweeting out, let's get some games for some kids. Prison Project is celebrating their second generation's first anniversary with some commemorative merch and voice pack now on sale. Twitch staff user Mr. Byte, software engineer for Twitch, and now aspiring VTuber. As Mr. Byte reveals their VTuber model design, saying this year, I've finally become anime. Art and design being made by View Gen Talent, Yoti. Thank you very much, lady. And please join us tomorrow as we are joined on our YouTube stream with an ink and paint gal from the 1930s living life in the 2020s. That's right. It's Pumpkin Potion, VTuber and Twitch partner. And that is all for this episode. As always, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Join our Discord for other VTuber news. We record live on Twitch and we'll have more things VTubers say for you soon.